Right, so what I'm going to show off today is my uh, ultimate or essential collection of Universal monster movies. So in this set, we get Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now we also get a whole bunch of special features, including, so let's see what the special features are. There's all sorts of documentaries. Uh, each film does have a commentary. So Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, which has two commentaries, The Bride of Frankenstein. They all, they all have feature commentaries on, which is pretty impressive when you think just how old these films are. They're like 90 years old, thereabouts. So I wasn't really going to show off this box set because, and I will show you why. Look what happened to the packaging. There's a hole in it. I don't know how that happened, but I'm quite gutted about that. However, the discs inside are all safe and sound, and so I'm gonna show them off to you. Remove the cardboard packaging. The whole thing is pretty much cardboard, other than obviously the trays that hold the discs. So in this, we do get a booklet. Which is all about the Universal Monster movies. So it goes through them all. We get to we'll learn a bit about Bella Lugosi. You can do in this booklet. A whole bunch of stuff in here. It is quite a nice put together booklet. It'll teach you more about Universal Monsters. It also has a timeline of all of the, well not all of them because we've obviously We've had a new mummy starring Tom Cruise and we've had the Invisible Man. But there's a whole list of the classic monster movies there from Universal. And as we look at the gatefold packaging, nice artwork on each of them, including my very favourite Universal Monsters movie, which is your favourite, I'm guessing. I don't know. See, it's Dracula, Frankenstein or Invisible Man for me, but Invisible Man by Country Mile. Um, the discs themselves, so you've got two per shelf, so it's one film per disc. These are pretty sturdy, so you can sort of pick that up easy without the disc coming loose. However, let me just remove Dracula. If you look where the second disc goes, under, it goes under a sleeve if you have a look here. So when you are taking these discs out, don't be in too much of a hurry or you could potentially snap a disc. But once they're in there, they are pretty, pretty sturdy and they're not likely to come out too easily. So you could sort of tip them upside down and they are, they're pretty safe. It's the same for all of these, the two. And then under the packaging. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Um, but again, it's, you know, what are the options? If you do really, really fancy packaging, then the price goes through the roof. It's a really good set, whether you're familiar with the Universal Monsters. If you're not familiar with the Universal Monster set, then this is a really good beginner set. The restorations on these, they do look pretty amazing. Um, and I don't know what K or whatever they're in, but they're all, I was just having a look there to see if I could find out what the, res, the resolution was. But yeah, doesn't say on that, but that's fine. There's some more stuff in here. What else is in this box? What's, what's this? What is this? What is this? Oh, look, postcards. Invisible Man. These are really sort of well made as well, glossy and quite thick. The Mummy, The Wolfman, The Bride of Frankenstein. I was a little bit let down by The Bride of Frankenstein. I don't know why, it's just I thought there was going to be more Bride in it. Phantom of the Opera, Dracula, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Single sided postcards, but all pretty, pretty solid. They would all look really cool in a frame. 
So for this sort of set, you do get quite a lot. Let's have a look at that. Uh, and then obviously like you've got all the special features. I did mention the commentaries. I've listened to some of the commentaries. They are uh, educational. So if you want to learn quite a fair bit about the Universal Monster movies, and quite a lot about the history of cinema, then I would definitely recommend that you pick up this set.